All photographs will be shown in original and then in HDR throughout the video. Howdy partners, up for a little tiny unofficial bike ride. I say unofficial because it's Friday afternoon and I should be at home really looking after little Johnny boy but his brother's looking after him and because it's such a, a nice day it's kind of one of those days with the clouds that pop out of the sky and real good light that I always feel it's like carpe diem you know you've got to seize the day, seize the moment to get these pictures and that's the trouble with getting into photography you're always thinking you're missing the shot so that's what I'll be doing today just going out and trying to get a few shots nothing special let's see if we can scare these uh, crows off now Show him who's boss. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice day, and uh, tomorrow the cold weather's due to come, cold and wet. So, just get it while we can. And you've got these great clouds today. You can see them on the GoPro. Look really solid clouds. Actually, I read somewhere once. See that cloud up there? Even a big cloud like that. It's only got about a bathtub of water in it. So that's something you always wanted to know. Eh? The sun's out behind one of the clouds up there. It's going to be coming out in a minute. Just have a quick look up there, see if there's a, a photo up. quite nice. I think I'll go down to that water down there and get a few water shots. A bit of a change.
So we'll move on to the next place now and uh, see what, what comes on our way. Yeah, this is a nice little path now, just going up by a few of these ponds here, which they use for keeping fishing. And that old lady said there's some swans up in the next one, so we'll have a look there. Like I said, it's not an official bike ride, this, because uh, I'm getting a bit German being here for 20 years, and if I haven't got the right kit on, when I go out on my bike, I like to have my cycling gear on. When I do my garden, I like to have my gardening gear on. I'm funny like that. So we go up to the next pool. Oh, some nice birds flying there. I wish I could see them. Shoot the camera over a bit. Not sure what they are. Ducks or something maybe, I don't know. A lot of wildlife here. I think this will make a nice shot because I've got this little this little path here and a little river next to it and maybe somehow get them both in. Now I'm looking for the shot that's gonna lead me into the picture here. There's another one probably work because we've got a, another one leading out of the shot. A man up on top there. Imagine a painting and you see your painting and then you see a little road winding up into the distance in the painting and uh, Makes you want to walk that way. It's always a bit of a rush doing photography because you, you've got to get the light. So when the light's gone, then that's it. So there's some nice puddles there. See, there's a, a little thing I can use. There's a windmill in there. I want to use these stripes on the floor to kind of give a bit of a dynamic to the shot so they're kind of pointing where the eye's following. See if these the trees can replicate the uh, the windmills. Hello. Wunderschöne. Ja. Bilder heute, die ja, Wolken ja. sehen gut aus. Gehen Sie jetzt für ein paar Tisch Zeitung? Nein, 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 nee, für allein. Das sind halt schön, aber ich denke, das ist bestimmt der Herr. Ja, Und ja. die schönen Bilder macht wie ein Zeitung. Da vorne, das sieht ganz schön. Also, Mit dem Wasser und den Wol ja, Wolken ja, und den ja. Wolken. Und das das wäre ja. geil. Perfekt. Also, Schöne Licht heute. Das ist ein wunderschönes Licht. Und ja. Sie haben ganz tolles. Dankeschön. Ja. Schönen Tag noch. So everyone's in a good mood today. But I think I've got one of them faces everyone wants to talk to. 
I don't know why, always been like that. So I'll just carry on this little path for a while and just keep my eyes open and see what we can see. A flooded field would be nice now. Don't know where this path goes. It'll come out somewhere. No worries. Yeah, like I said, you've got to grab the moment really with photography. And I suppose it's the uh, same as life really. You've just got to grab the moment. Otherwise, you miss it. That ship has sailed and it's gone. And you never know the next next week or two weeks might all be just grey and dull and miserable. Whereas you get a real lift out of life when it's sunny and bright and clear and the clouds are a popping and the streams are bubbling. You know, you've got to get it, take it where you can. seem to get a lot of people just sitting around and grumbling and moaning but you have got to get out a little bit and make the effort yourself to, to see things, to look at things if that's what interests you. So I'm going in a bit of the wrong direction now because uh, I don't really want to go in the forest today because it's too nice in the sun. I'm going to get a nice shot of this stream. So we'll give this one a try because it's uh, it might be interesting with the sun shining on the um, on the river, it might not be. Oh. Now I've got a double shot there of, of the road going off into the distance and the river and it's all flowing into the sun. So I think that's the trick with photography, to get a good picture, you've got to make up a story. Make up a little story and do a picture to it. So I'm going to give the forest a miss today because I'll have the sun in the wrong place. You know what I mean? I'll just ride up one of these little roads and then I'll be able to get the forest in some nice shots and the sun shining on the forest. Otherwise, if I go up to the edge of the forest, then I'll just have the bright glaring sun in my face and nothing else. So I've got this little road here, see what comes up here. Some smoke over there, so that might be good shots. Sometimes it's better to be on top of the hill and below see more, more options. A lot of old people walking about today. Can't beat the bike though for going out on photo shoots. Walking takes too long, and a lot of places are not accessible by car. They got the wide panoramic shot of, of uh, France.
sweating a bit, it's quite hot now. We'll carry on a bit and go to the next place and see what comes along. I've seen some smoke in the distance before. I think I should try and find that smoke because that might give us some nice effects. Yeah, I can see where the smoke's coming from. That's the smoke I'm talking about down there, but the only problem is it's got that ugly crane there spoiling the composition. And the smoke's a bit far away, really. So we'll give the smoke a miss. People out in the grapes clipping the uh, clipping the vines, trimming them. shots we can get there. There we go. That road might be a bit interesting how that's going up there as long as we don't get that car in. As I said, I'm doing most of these shots on F11, I think it is. I don't want to go up to F16. And they say that you get more sharpness then in the whole shot. But um, then you also see the, the spots of dirt on the sensor. So we just whiz up back where we came from and slowly make our way home because uh, I haven't got that long to do, but I had to get out. So there, there I see a shot, there I see a shot. Just that road going up into the clouds and then people standing there. Make my story. I've just got to make sure I don't get me in there. Might be a shot, might not be. So well, it's good to look for shadows because uh, you can stand in the shadow and then the sun's going to be blocked out from something and then you sometimes get an interesting shot too. That tree there is going to block out the shadow of the sun. There's an interesting cloud which mimics that tree as well behind. be a good one. Get a nice sweep of the fields then. Okay we'll do one there. So what we're looking for in this shot. Something to do with them fields in front. Maybe the darkness and the lightness. 
see how it looks through the uh, viewer. 